Welcome back. Aloha. Let's look at pages 10 and 11. And uh, this is graphing using a, the slope method. So we can take an equation like this and we can, just by doing two easy steps, quickly graph it, okay, without having to find all of the points. So earlier in the piece, we would uh, make a table of values, x values, and then we'd plug in some numbers, find the corresponding y value, put the points on there, connect them with a dot, um, connect the dots with a line, and that works, okay? So this is another method of doing the same kind of graphing and getting the same graph, the same picture of that line. Okay, so remember, line, graphing linear equations means graphing lines. First thing we want to do is figure out well, what is the slope. And so the slope, remember, from the previous lesson right before the checkup, it's negative a over b, but we have to have it in the form ax plus by equals c. <clears throat> so I'm going to take one of the problems that you have in your lesson, and let's just work on this together, okay? This will help us think it through. I need to bring everything over here to the left, so I'm going to leave the negative 3x, change sides, change signs, so negative 2y, and then take the 6 over here to this side. All right, are you with me? We kept the negative 3x, brought the 2y over, brought the 6 over, changed sides, changed signs, and now this is a, this is b. So negative 3 over negative 2, which would be 3 halves. But the slope is actually the opposite of that, so it's going to be negative 3 over 2. Okay. So we have one of the things, and that is the slope, but we're not done. Now we need to find where does it cross, <coughs> excuse me, where does it cross the y-axis? And the way we find that out <coughs> is we plug in 0 in place of x. And then we solve to figure out what would y be. Well, if I plug in 0 here, negative 3 times 0 is just 0, so I end up with negative 6 equals 2y, and then I can divide both sides by 2, and I get negative 3 for y, okay? So I can, I'm keeping the y on the right, I'm solving for y, and uh, we divide by this coefficient of 2 on both sides, so negative 3. So what that tells me is that the point 0, negative 3 is the starting point, okay? So I'm going to go on the graph here now. In the pace, I think in all the examples, they have these labeled as 2, 4, 6, okay? So I'll try to do the same here. 2, negative 4, this is 2, 4. So 3, 0, 3, so this is 0 on the x-axis, and then on here, 3 is going to go right there, okay? So we put a dot right between the tick marks. Then it tells us that the slope is negative 3 over 2. So what that means, remember that means rise over run. So the negative 3 means I'm either going to go up 3 or I'm going to go down 3. Because it's negative, I'm going to go down 3 from that point. So 1, 2, 3. And then the run is 2, so I go over 2. Okay? I could actually graph another point now by going down from here. 1, 2, 3. And then go over two more. All right. Down three over two. Down three over two. This is right here, three. All of these are lining up and now I can connect. Whoops, I missed that one. Connect the dots. <laughs> we'll fudge that a little bit. We'll just push that over. Okay, yay. It's the cool thing about using a whiteboard. We can fudge it. When you graph these, carry them out to the edge, okay? Use a straight edge, use a ruler, put an arrow at both ends. It's important, we're showing that this is a line, we're not just connecting the dots, okay? <clears throat> um, at the bottom of the page, they talk about a case where maybe the slope ends up being zero. So... If, in a, if that happens, that, that means that it's actually a horizontal line. There's no slope, it's flat. 
if it ends up that um, we end up with a with no slope at all, that means it's actually a vertical line. But you know what? I'm looking at just eyeballing it. I'm not seeing that any of them end up that way. So I think for all of them, you can rearrange it first into the AX plus BY equals C. Use this formula they want you to solve to find M. And then the next thing you need to do is plug in zero for X for all of these. Plug in zero for X, solve to find the Y value. And then that will give you your starting point, okay? It'll be a number somewhere on that y-axis. Starting with that point, then you follow the slope. You either go up or you go down, and then you go over. So rise over run. Hopefully that helps. Again, if you need a few more examples, you can check out that Khan Academy or look back at, uh, I think it was Allo Math 8 had some videos about graphing lines as well. All right. I'll stop there. We'll do a lesson for page 12 and 13.